is a question I get asked a zillion times, maybe a gazillion times, how can I stop eating sugary foods? And usually I give some stupid reply back like, well, just amputate your hands or, or put a sock in your mouth or something dumb like that. But it's actually a real question that many people have. Right? How can they eat, stop eating sugary foods? How many people watching this video have just had something really sweet to eat or drink? Sugar is extremely addictive, extremely addictive for the brain. The brain loves sweet foods. Now, how you can stop becoming addicted to all the sugar is by not buying into the whole media thing in the first place. I don't watch really news or TV or look at ads or things like that. Try not to be um, a subject or exposed to all of this sort of crap that you are, that many people are on a daily basis, all right? So by being involved in your own hobbies and in your own life and doing things and being less involved with what's out there, particularly in the food industry, you're going to be less exposed. By hanging around less with people who eat crap, you're less inclined to eat crap, all right? The more friends you have that eat sweet foods and ice creams and takeaways and all this kind of all kind of junk, the more likely you're going to you know partake in all of this too. So sometimes you have to do a bit of pruning uh, when your health improves, if you know what I mean. Pruning friendships, you know what I mean? You have to cut a few people out of your life, just chop them out because some people are just complete junk food addicts. That's all they do is eat crap all the time. Well, either you have a friend like that, partake in that kind of lifestyle, or you say, well, I'm backing out of this. And I decided years ago to do that, to stop associating with a lot of people who ate this kind of crappy food. So I don't really have a, a need for it in my life. And I, I think you'll find the same. That, that, you know, the less you hang with these sort of people, the less crap you'll eat. Also be careful of social events when you go to many different functions. Remember, you're in control. It's your call. It's your choice what you put in here. Okay? No one else pointing a gun to your head with a Mars bar saying, eat it or I'll shoot you. It's your call. So because it's fully in your power, you've got a lot of ability to say, no, I'm not going to accept this kind of food. And trust me, the more fresh food you eat, uh, especially vegetables and fruits and lean meats, the less likely you're going to want to eat a lot of sugary and sweet foods. The key thing for many people will be snacks and also what they're going to have for breakfast. Many people say to me, all I can have are sugary cereals like Cheerios for breakfast, but that's actually not true. Breakfast can be eggs, okay? breakfast can be rolled oats, breakfast can be soup. There can be many things you can have for breakfast. And snacks, there are 101 snacks that don't involve sugar. So you don't have to feed me the line that there are no um, sugar-free snacks available. It's just you choose to buy sugary snacks. You know? And remember, as I said, the less sugar you eat, the less you'll crave and you'll, the less you'll want. And when you do end up with a mouthful of soda one day, you'll find it disgusting because it tastes far too sweet. It makes me sick. I'm having soda drinks now. It's just got so much sugar in it. I got used to eating honey years ago because I'm a beekeeper. So I would eat far more honey um, than you would have probably ice cream and, and fries and, and, and sweet foods. I don't know what else you people eat out there, but I eat appreciable amounts of honey. And since I've done that, my weight's gone. It's gone south. It's gone down. My energy's gone up. Honey seems to suit me really well. How much would I eat? I'm not going to disclose, but I have quite a bit. And um, I find it to be exceptionally good food. But there you have it. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful of the company you keep. Be careful of where you shop and what you buy. And once you go down that path that I have, where you're narrowing down your options, your snack options, and you're going healthier and healthier, you'll find every now and then a piece of chewing gum may come into your diet or you know, some candy, but you won't like it because you're so used to eating fresh that you'll really miss that and you'll keep going back to it. Your taste buds are shaped by your desires a lot and your habits, okay? And what was that saying I always like? People don't decide on their future. They decide on their habits and the habits will then decide on the future for that person, all right? So think about the sweet habit. Is it a habit you want to go down that road and maybe eventually get diabetes or heart disease? Or is it good to keep away from that and go for natural sugars and have a lot less chance of those chronic diseases or lifestyle that are avoidable in, in a, lot of, a lot of ways? All right? Think about that. Food for thought. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to click on the link if you want my free Candida report. Thank you.